you guys been like for you? Uh, pretty hectic. A lot of moving pieces, you know, get finishing my year in England Bay in Seattle, obviously. And, um, you know, it's been a quick turnaround, but I couldn't be happier and more excited to be there. How challenging is it? It's a half to sort of event too, because you guys are trying to make, you know, win a championship, get to Memorial Hill, but your focus almost has to shift on it immediately after after the game. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, you definitely see a little change in focus, but um, coming here, I think it's, you know, the same message. Um, this team's going to compete for a championship, and I'm just trying to, you know, do anything I can to, to help them in any way. What are the emotions like? Heard from the series and just you know, the end of that, the new opportunity here. What looks like my I guess. Yeah, I mean, after Friday, it was definitely emotional. You know, with my teammates, the the group we've had there in Winnipeg the past few years has been really special, and um, you know, it's the tightest team I've ever I've ever been a part of. So, you know, leaving them so quickly was was definitely difficult, and you know, especially the twenty year olds that I was with. But um, you know, this opportunity is is really exciting, and, and I'm really looking forward. Impressions getting real practice, being around the group. Um, just what's today been like? Yeah, I mean, today's been awesome. I've come in, you know, just really with a smile on my face, looking to you know, just meet everyone and um, get acclimated as well as I can. And I think the group's done a really good job of just you know reaching out, making me feel really welcome. And um, I, you know, I can't thank the coaching staff, the, the teammates, enough for just reaching out and making me feel what you know at home. And um, I, yeah, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. Three We're out to see not only the success the Rochester's had, but how the season went for Buffalo as well. Yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, I think at camp you kind of felt there was a big shift in, in the culture there. There was, you know, a lot of you know, good people in the dressing room that were you know, pushing the bus in the right direction. And even Rochester, I, I got to know a lot of these guys at camp a little bit. So, um, you know, it, it was really good to see them have a lot of success this year and really find their stride. What did you do? I don't know if it was eight months ago, but I mean, they gave you a long look. They did you play any congressional and musical games. What did that do for your confidence uh, just heading into the junior season? Yeah, I think you know, it definitely, definitely brought my confidence up just that I could be one of the top guys in junior, possess the puck, and really take my game to the next level, which you know, I thought I did in the second half of the year really well. And um, you know, I think just getting the experience with NHL guys, NHL coaches, seeing you know, a little bit of a different voice uh, on your game is, is always a good thing. What else led it to you? Taking the next step this year with Winnipeg. I think, you know, just just my inner drive. Um, you know, I think I worked really hard and um, the staff here as well, you know, I talk to them on a weekly basis and they, you know, provide updates and feedback on my game and things I can improve on and work on. So that's been a big help. And, um, you know, I, I've also really worked on my body, getting a lot stronger, getting a lot faster. Um, my cardio has been, been a lot better. So, um, you know, in all areas, I think I've just been really working for to get better. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a lot faster pace, uh, bigger bodies, you know, a lot crisper passes. Um, I think it's, it's the style of practice is pretty similar. Both teams, you know, we were right near the end. So, um, just prepping for games, making sure your body's in the right spot, making sure everything's crisp, and I think you know that's what they're, they're doing here, and it's it was a good practice. Still. You mentioned the second half of your season. Um, at the start, did it take a little bit to get going because you didn't have a, a usual offseason with the shoulder and the draft and everything else? Did it take a little bit? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I think you know I didn't get a lot of training in last summer, just obviously rehab my shoulder, and then um, you know came down here for two months and, and had a blast down here. Really, really enjoyed that experience, and then. Going back to the Western League, I think you know, I had a lot of confidence early on and then um, kind of felt the effects of, you know, not having that summer full training and, and getting stronger and getting faster. So I think as I got more workouts and even in season, I got, you know, those gains in uh, where I kind of miss out on in the summer. So, like, yeah, definitely near the second half of the season, I felt stronger, felt you know, faster, and, and, you know, my body was feeling good. It's, last year, we had a break really in the last year. I mean, it's been... A year ago now, you were preparing for the combine. Uh, I wasn't the combine, but I was injured. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, you were at the combine. It's almost a year you were drafted. I think has there been a break? Uh, I mean, it's been busy, but uh, you know, it's been a blast. I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it, every every second. And, you know, this is my dream, and this is what I've been working towards. So, you know, I don't you really consider it hard work or, or taxing because you know you're doing something you love every day. Um, is there a motivation for the part of the team part of that at all? Yeah, I think you know, 
there's definitely a little bit of motivation. You know, you want to make that team and um, you want to be recognized as you know, one of the top players. And uh, to not have that was, was definitely something that, that, that took me back a little bit. And that really just made me put my head down and work even harder. And, um, you know, it's, that's what I did. You know, I think a lot of the guys in Winnipeg, we just kind of took it upon ourselves to, to push each other and, and really do that in practice.